everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie, and today I'm sharing with you one of the favorite DIY projects that I've ever done. It's a DIY beach bag that I made completely from scratch, and I just absolutely love how it turned out, so I wanna go ahead and jump right into it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you like this, and let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off by making the leather tassel accessory for my bag, so I just have this piece of turquoise leather that I found at the craft store and a gold key ring. Now I'm folding the top of the leather down about two inches, just to uh, make it a little bit smaller for my length. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut across that line that I made when I folded it. Now I'm going to flip it over and start cutting small strips, leaving about a half inch at the top without cutting it. So this is gonna be the fringe for my tassel. And once I've gone all the way across, then I'm going to flip it over and I'm taking a small piece of leather that I cut off from the other piece earlier. And I'm just gonna put a dot of glue on it and just glue that right to the underside of the fringe. Next, I'm going to take my gold key ring and I'm gonna slide that right on there and then put another dot of glue and glue the little piece of leather down. So now you can take some glue and just start rolling your tassel up and make sure that you glue sections at a time so that it all stays secure and in place and try to keep it as even as possible. So just work slowly here in sections, add a little bit more glue and continue rolling your fringe all the way up until you have your nice little leather tassel keyring and it's super easy to make. To make the bag, I picked up these two round placemats that I found for $1 each at the craft store and I lined them up and then used these kitchen clips to just clip them together to make sure they stay in place for the next few steps. I also have some large rope, which I wrapped tape around the ends to make sure that they didn't fray at all while I was working with it. Decide where you want your handles to go and then use a pencil to trace a circle around the end of the rope. Then I use the ridges to slide the rope over and that helped me to keep it in line. And then I decided how far apart I wanted my handles to be and I went ahead and traced the next circle on the other end of my placemat. Once I finished with that, I took my pencil and pushed it all the way through to the other side of the second place mat, and then I used that as a center point to trace my circles on the other side to make sure that my handles would be lined up on both sides of my bag. Next, I went in with my scissors and I just cut a small slit, so I folded the place mat, and I did one place mat at a time, and I just started to cut out each of my circles. You'll notice that the fabric might fray a little bit, but we are going to fix that later. So repeat this process with all four of your circles until you have four holes. Now I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm just gluing around the edges of where I cut and that is going to dry and then make sure that it will not fray any further and this actually worked really, really well. It made it very secure. Now I'm taking my rope and I'm just threading it through the underside of one of the placemats to the outer side of the placemat and then I put enough through so that I could tie a big knot and I pulled that knot as tight as I possibly could. Then I pulled the other side of the rope through and made the handle about as long as I wanted it to be, and then I slid my tassel on and tied another big knot. The last thing that you wanna do is just cut the rope, and this rope was really tough, so I had to cut it piece by piece, but eventually I got it, and it looked perfect, and then, little tip, a lint roller will help pick up any of those frayed edges. Repeat this process on the other side, lining up your rope so that the handles are the exact same length. To give the bag a little extra color, I laid some painter's tape down and just painted the bottom portion of my bag with some navy blue paint. And once that was dry, I just flipped it over and did the same thing on the other side, removed the tape, and now I'm ready to glue the bag together. So I'm actually just using some strong glue here and I'm using my E6000 and I put my two clips at the top of the bag where I wanted the glue to stop. So that's gonna be the opening of the top of the bag. And I just glued sections at a time, pressing them down and then I added all of my clips back on and let it dry overnight. Now this is pretty strong, so obviously you're not gonna go and carry your bowling ball in it, but you can carry a magazine, a towel, some sunglasses, some other things that you might need as necessities for the beach, and it works really, really well, and I just love it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making it. It's definitely my new favorite summer accessory, so let me know if you guys liked it, if you tried it out. 
tag me on Instagram if you do and don't forget to follow me over there because I'm over there a lot especially doing stories and posting and things like that much more than snapchat so make sure you follow me on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and please give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so that I know that you did and I will see you guys in the next one bye